Hello, today I will be installing Cloud Score Modern using a GKE cluster. I will be doing an installation using Helm 3 and TLS. This will include installing Nginx as part of the Cloud Vis chart. So to start, um, we'll go to the documentation page to see the installation process. So we go to docs.cloudvis.com and scroll down and go to the Cloud Score documentation. After that, we're gonna to go to Modern Cloud Installation. Click there and go to uh, Google Kubernetes Engine. Now, um, here in this first box, you will see that Helm is currently the recommended method for installing, so that's what we're doing. And uh, we're gonna proceed by in, in clicking in Installing Cloud Score on Kubernetes using Helm. So what, once we are on this page, uh, we can read that there are some requirements for Cloud Vis Core. Uh, some of these requirements are going to be installed as part of the chart. We already have, I already have a, a Kubernetes cluster and Helm install. Um, and I have nodes in each availability zone. So I am running version 1.14.10 of GKE, and I have six nodes currently. Then we want to make sure that we have access to Docker Hub to pull the images for uh, the operation center, as well as the managed masters. And in the namespace that we're going to create, we want to make sure that we can create roles and role bindings. Uh, since we're going to be uh, doing a TLS installation, I have already a certificate for that domain that I'm going to use. And another thing that is important, we want to make sure that we can define a storage class that's going to be also part of the, the installation using the chart. So the first step that we're going to uh, that we're going to follow is the creation of the namespace. So right now, I only have the default and the rest of Kubernetes namespaces that come with the installation of the Kubernetes cluster. So let's start by installing a namespace for Cloud Vis Core. After that, we're gonna switch the context to that namespace. So every command that we run can be executed in that namespace. All right. After that, um, it talks about a little bit of the workstation. The workstation is currently my computer, and you already saw that I have kubectl, um, and I already have Helm install, and I am on version 3.1.1. What we're going to do after that is we're going to add the Calvis Helm chart repo. So that's going to allow us to get the version for Cloud Score that we want to install. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to run an update. So at this point, we already have the namespace and the repo uh, for Helm. So after that, what we're going to do is decide what version and what values we want to include as part of the chart. So let's take a look at what versions we have. So if we run Helm search repo, club is core, the name of the chart, dash dash versions, we'll see that we have different chart versions and different app versions. So app versions are usually what matches uh, with that release. If you take a look at our release pages, this is what you will see. So now usually Helm, you, you can install it either by setting values in the command line or you can pass a file with those values. Today, we're gonna create a file with those values. Now. If we go back to our documentation, 
we can see that we have different options to install, like install Cloud Score with HTTP support, install with HTTPS support, or with Nginx. So we are going to install with HTTPS support and Nginx. So let's take a look at what do we need for HTTPS. First, we need to create a secret with a private key insert for the domain that we are that we own. So this will be one step that we need to do. And then it tells you what options you need to pass from the command line to be able to install with HTTPS. But as I said before, we're gonna do this just by passing a, a value file. So let's take a look at what it requires for Nginx. So for Nginx, it requires also to pass another set a uh, different set of values. So we're gonna combine both of those plus other values, create a file, and then be able to install core. 